Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to the part number four. So in this video, we are going to cover up the added functionality. And so far, we are done with the contact listing. We are done with the delete action. We have able to add the contact listing. So if you're new and jump directly to it, must watch that video in order to continue this part number four. So everything has been explained right from the scratch. And now in this video, I'm going to cover up to create an action button here the added button and with the help of that we are going to populate the data of this individual id it means that we want to update the record for this individual result so first we are going to create the api for the added functionality and then we are going to implement that in our view so i have my two projects up and running the first one is the view project make sure you should run your server by npm run serve and the second folder or the second window where I have my Laravel project up and running as well. Make sure your server should be running PHP artisan serve. And you see here, we already have created three APIs. The first for the listing, second for the save and the delete action, right? Now we are gonna create another API for the get contacts where we are gonna get and fetch the result with the ID and then we're gonna test with the help of Postman. So make sure your Postman should be running. And I have already running, make sure you have just to test this out and just run your and just click on the send and uh, you see here if you want to see the preview for the Laravel uh, and you see it right up here uh, my my server is up and running right so you can test this out right so let's jump in and get started here so I'm inside my contact controller we are where we already have created the API and next uh, it should be inside your app HTTP controllers contact controller and if you want to go to your routes because we are not going to define the APIs inside web.php we have done in the API.php and you see here already we have defined those three. All right so let's uh, go inside and your contact controller and write our very first API so public function let me zoom this out more so you guys could see more properly public function. And here I'm going to define here a method with the name of get contact and this is going to take the ID. So I need to define the route inside my API.php. So what I'm going to do is let's let me go and uh, copy this out from the delete API and paste it right after the get request. Even though I can copy this get because we are going to work with that. And let's uh, define the name of the route, which is get underscore contact and make sure you have passed the ID because we need to fetch the result based on the ID. And let's give it the name of the method, which in my case is get contact. All right. So let's going to copy this up and I'm going to uh, create here a very basic contact variable and this going to use the find and with this find method will help us to get the record of the specific ID, right? Whatever the result I need to find on base of the ID, which is present in my database. So I need to get the result of that specific ID. So with that help of this method find, I'm gonna get this record, right? So let me just simply return the response in JSON. So let's write that return response JSON. And uh, I need to do a few more stuff just like I did on top. I need to pass those variables in and I just simply need to pass contact and all that I need. Even though I don't need those brackets, I just need to display the contact right up here and that's it, right? Now in order to test this out, I need to go to my postman and make sure it should be a get request, which is in my case is that. And I already defined my route inside the api.php. So let me copy that slash Con, uh, slash get underscore contact and I need to define that API before uh, reaching to get underscore contact because we have defined in our api.php so make sure you should write API slash get underscore con get underscore contact and this might be confusing for you from where this API is coming so whenever you're working in the api.php file and you have to define slash API if you're working directly in the web.php then there is no need of that but it's a convention and you must apply there. You can uh, read this, all the documentation for why we define that because it's uh, assigned the API middleware group. All right, so let's um, go to and find the ID. So here you see I have two and the three ID. So let me gonna find this one. So if I just have slash two over here and send the request and make sure you define your headers it should be application slash json 
and we are actually getting some kind of an error. Let me uh, review that first. So it says that bad method call exception. Um, let me first reach this out and check what it says. The get contact does not exist. And the reason why, because I might have the method which should be get contact. And now if I just try to send the request, and there we are. So you can see in pretty, click on the pretty viewer, that's more like it. So ID and the name and the email designation and the contact number. So if I just try to get the record for my ID3 and send the response, and you see we have some different results. But if I want to reach to something which is, doesn't exist in my database, and you see it's now empty, right? So how easier it is to create and get the contact listing for the specific ID. So that's it, guys. In the next video, we are going to create here an added button and populate the data. And just like the very similar form for the add contact, we are going to create here an added button. And once we click on it, it's going to populate all the data. And later on, the last video is about the update. So that's it, guys. And I want to see you right after this section. All right, guys, so welcome back here. So we have created the API in Laravel where we are able to get the contact of the on base of specific ID. And now we're going to create the added button here. And with the help of that, we are going to populate the data in our form. So let's first go inside your project. So make sure you have your project running. And I have my view project running already, npm run serve. So let's go inside your source components. And you see here, inside the contact listing, that's where we are going to create here button for the added. So you see here, we already have a button for the delete. And we have to create another um, another scope row and with that and where we have to write added button but before i should go directly jump to it i need to go to my route first we have to create the route for the added listing just like we create for the ad and the home page so i'm going to do is let me first copy that up and paste it down up here and i'm going to import my contact listing but i need to create here a component another component let's create with the file name of added contact dot view all right, so I have created that and right inside that, let's first define the very basic template. Even I don't need that, I can copy it from my add contact because this is basically very much similar. What we need, all we need is we need to update the record. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm just gonna remove this all from here and I don't need a few stuff which I might have to keep it there. We are gonna change it later on. We are not gonna save the contact we can change that uh, change that text to added contact later on. So let me keep that up and go inside your routes.js file and I'm gonna change a few things here. So rather I should have here add contact, let's change to the name of the of the file or the component that we created, which is the add contact, and also change that to slash add underscore contact to added underscore contact. So it should be add added underscore contact, but we need to do a few things because once I want to click on the added button, we should have a route something like that slash contact slash, uh, which you can see here right up here. So slash contact slash edit slash two. So I need my route like this. So for this, I need to have to create slash contact slash edit and this, and then I have to pass here the dynamic ID, which is two. So let me go back to the routes. And I need to change that to keep that slash contact, which looks better. So slash contact slash edit. And now I need to pass here the dynamic ID. So all I need here is slash and then the pass the colon ID and the question mark. <clears throat> so that's all you need. And then, and then change that to edit contact, which I need to first import here. So change that to edit contact. And I also need to change that to added contact, right? So we are good with that. Let's copy this up and change that to added contact. Oops. All right, so this looks good. Now I need to go back to um, my added contact dot view listing. So everything you see here, it's absolutely fine. And I need to do is to uh, implement few changes, which I haven't done yet so first change that save contact to update contact which are we are going to do later on because we haven't created the api for the update 
but I'm gonna just change that text, right? And similar here, I need to change that method to be update contact, keep that all data return. There's not much, not much changes, as well as you see here, we have to change the added contact just to make things uh, separate. I have changed that add contact to added contact, keep all the data same here because we need validation as well uh, in the R update contact. So I just keep that same here. Now, right after that, I need to do first create here a button for the added. So let me go back to my uh, main listing page. So I need to change here uh, my view for the contact. So I need to go to my added um, contact list dot view. So let me copy this very much same here for the delete and let me copy down here. So I need to just change make this indent. So that look like this. Okay, now I need to change that delete contact to, I need to change and even we don't need any click action here. So I'm gonna remove this all from here, right? So just remove this all. And uh, I also need to change that delete to add it. And make this BTN BTN dash uh, primary. All right. So this looks like this. Now we need to create here, pass here the route. So in order to pass the route here, all I need is, first I need to change that button to router dash link. And same case for here, router dash link for the closing. And next, because we have, we have to pass here the route. So I need to define right after the router dash link, let's first define colon two equal to Let's first define the name of the route that we define inside, uh, that we define in our routes.js, which is the added contact. So remember, it should be the name, right? Anything which you define, the name should be similar to that. So I need to define here name, colon, and let's pass here the added contact, right? And next, we have to pass the parameters because the parameters are required because we need to pass the dynamic ID. So for this, Let's me wrap this in. Um, actually, I done one mistake here. I don't need this right here. Um, and uh, I need to pass here. It should be right like this. Or I need to remove this double. Right. Okay, that's fine. So let me pass here the params. And inside params, I have to pass the ID, which look like this. So ID contact dot ID, which is coming from top, right? All right, so this looks good. And I hope this looks fine. Let me first test this out. Now, if I go back and definitely the data is not going to populate right now because we haven't defined any API. So if I just try to click on this added button and you see here, the route is fine. Slash contact slash added slash two. Now, let me check the ID number three. If I click on this added button and you see, it's good. Now we have to display the data inside the form fields with the values that we need to define because we need to add it those values. So look, let me go back to my view project and go inside the added contact dot view. So right inside the added contact dot view, we have to define our API. So let me go inside the methods. So this is the update contact, which we are gonna later on, um, later on gonna implement its API and then it's gonna work. But first we have to get the data just to make things, um, you can even remove this if you want or keep it there. So just to make things very neat, I, I'm gonna remove this. So it's not gonna confuse you much. So let me remove this. Later on, we are gonna copy it from our add contact and change its name, right? And I'm also gonna remove it from here because that's what we are not gonna do it in this video. Don't need any no validate as well. Keep it very simple. All right, so this looks good. And if I go to my methods, that's where we need to define the API that we have implemented. So let's give it here the async and create here a method of get contact by ID and that's it all I need. So right after the methods, I also need to define created, the created method 
So that's where we need to call this. Um, and uh, right inside the methods, I need to first pass the URL that we have. So let URL equal to. So I need to wrap this in in the in the tilde like this because I have to pass the dynamic ID just like we have done in the case of the delete. So I'm going to copy it from the postman the URL that we have. And remember, I need to bring up my HTTP colon double slash, right? Okay, so this should be the dynamic ID. So I need to do here, remove this slash, bring up here dollar string interpolation. So this should be this dot route. So route should be R-O-U-T-E dot the param parameters that we are passing from the in, inside the contact listing. And that's where we are going to get the ID, right? That's it. All right. Now we have passed the URL. Next thing is that I need to define my axios. So we have to get the response. So let me use here await axios dot get pass the URL here and get the response. So dot then and pass here the response. So right after that, so I need to do here is this dot contact equal to response dot data. All right. So just for the verification, I need to log this console dot log and pass here the response. So inside method, and I also need to put here the comma, you see it's expected. So right after that, okay, so we are good to go. So we have methods and right after that we have mounted. So let me define that function here and to console.log and just to verify, we have to see that the component added component form loaded successfully. So just to load here, right, added component form component loaded all right so this is going to bring us whenever the component loaded okay so we are good to go and the last thing that i need is to call this method so this dot get contact by id and that's it so let me gonna go there and see so you see here we have two records two and the id three so if i'm gonna click on this added button here and you see now the data is populated successfully inside the form and remember it's the id number two and if I'm going to reach to the ID number three, click on here and you see now we are able to uh, easily see the populated data. So just for the verification, let me add another context. So test at the rate Gmail. And right here, the contact number. Submits that and you see the message. And if I go back to the home screen, the data is populated here inside the listing. And if I just try to edit this and you see the data is basically populated against this ID 97, right? So you see how easier it is to work with the added functionality. We created the API. We have been able to populate the result for the specific ID. And hopefully the end of the video is which is going to be the last one where we are going to cover up the update functionality where I'm going to get the added data and update the result and display the updated data inside our listing so that's it guys so hope you guys love this so don't forget to like and subscribe i'm gonna gonna see you in the last part of the video